Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back, Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I've got an interesting video for you today. In this video, I'm gonna talk about preparing to mount solar panels on my RV. Now, as many of you know, my RV, my Chinook, it has a fiberglass roof. So let me just jump right in and talk about the brackets. Let me show you these brackets. This company right here, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of this company, but this is the company that I purchased the brackets from. So they come in a little box like this. I believe there's 16 brackets that come in this box. And you can see that they're very nice aluminum brackets. They're lightweight, they're very solid, and they're just downright good brackets. So you get the brackets, you also get a bag, and in the bag you have two wrenches. They're identical, they're eight millimeter on one end and 10 millimeter on the other end. You can also see that in the bag there is a nut setter. Okay, so that can go in your drill and you can drive screws, okay? So you also get this with the brackets. And again, I think there's 16 brackets, don't quote me, but I think there's 16 in this box. It's enough to mount four panels, 400 watt panels or something like that. The next thing that you see in the box are stainless steel self-drilling screws that have rubber washers on them. Okay, so you get those. And these are 5 16 heads, so the nut setter that I showed you just a second ago can be used to drive these into the roof of whatever you're mounting these, these uh, panels to. In my installation, I'm not going to be using those self-drilling screws. I don't want holes in my roof. You'll also notice that in this package, there is another bag that has stainless steel nuts and bolts. So just like this, a very nice fine thread, stainless steel nuts and bolts. So there's plenty of those that come in this bag. And the cool thing about these brackets is they're inexpensive and they give you everything that you need right there in this convenient little box. So very cool. I'm very happy with the purchase. I bought these brackets a few times and they're fantastic for me. So let me talk about the panels here. Right here behind me, you can see that I have a new POA 100 watt solar panel. And you can see here that I have the, the brackets already mounted. So the cool thing about these brackets is they raise up the bottom of the panel about one inch from the surface of the roof of what you're gonna be installing them to. So you have airflow potential underneath your panel. You also have, that's one inch from this surface right here. So you have, uh, depending on what type of panel you purchase, you might have three quarters of an inch here of space, or you might have an inch and a quarter of space. So the cool thing again about these brackets is they give you room underneath your panels for airflow, which is also gonna keep things cool. It's also gonna let water not collect underneath your panels and it gives you just enough space where you could reach under there and kind of fish around these wires, these MC4 connectors to make your connections and things like that. Now, if you notice right here, uh, you'll see that these brackets, the bolts and the nuts and bolts are blue. That's because I paint them with fingernail polish. It's, from, from a lack of a better description, that is like a low-grade Loctite. It's just to keep these things from vibrating loose. Again, these panels are gonna be on the roof of my RV and I'm gonna be traveling the country. So I don't want those nuts and bolts to come loose prematurely. 
you'll also notice that on this panel, I have five brackets. I've got three on this side, and I have two on this side. And you're probably wondering, what's the deal with the extra bracket? You could have got by with only four. Well, the reason I put five is because this surface right here that you're looking at, this is gonna be towards the front of my RV. So I'm gonna have all that wind coming onto this surface as I'm traveling down the highway. So I felt that another bracket would be better to just secure this down a little, little cleaner so that there's more surface area in contact with the roof, more mounting potential and stuff like that. So that's why I installed that third bracket on this end. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to be screwing these down onto my roof. I don't want any kind of holes in the roof, so I'm gonna be taping these panels down using VHB tape. Some of you might hear me say that and might say, what, you're gonna tape those down? I'll be honest with you folks, taping solar panels down on the roof of your rig is actually a lot more common than a lot of people think. So on these surfaces right here, these surfaces that are gonna mate with the roof of my Chinook, I'm gonna put double-sided VHB tape. This is 3M VHB tape, very sticky stuff. So I'll basically put tape on these brackets and then when I get ready to mount this to the surface, I'll make sure that that surface is completely clean and then I'll pull that paper off and then I'll set this down. And once you set these down with that VHB tape, they are there, they're not going nowhere. I'm also gonna back up the VHB tape. So in the event, let's say for example, say I have, I just laid this panel down and it's sitting right on the roof of my Chinook on this surface. So all these surfaces are mated to the surface of my roof, okay? So the next thing I'll do is I'll take Eternal Bond tape and I'll put it on top of these brackets so it'll sandwich down and it'll go on top of these brackets and it'll also hold the panels down. So I have double security in the form of tape. I've got these surfaces going to be uh, in contact with VHB tape to the fiberglass. And then again, like I said, I have Eternabond tape backing that up. So I have a whole surface uh, that's going to be backed up. Now some people take that even a step further and they use Dicor self-leveling lap sealant after they use the Eternabond tape. I'm not probably going to be doing this. I think two forms of tape is going to be perfectly fine for me. I can honestly tell you that the lap sealant is fantastic. It works very good. Now in my setup, there are some calculations that I had to do. There are some formulas that I had to figure out as far as what option am I going to be using to mount my panels to get the most solar array efficiency out of my panels. Because I'm mismatching panels. I have two Renogy 100 watt panels. I have two Renogy 50 watt panels. I have this Nupoa 100 watt panel. All these panels have different operating voltages and currents. So I did some math with some formulas. I could have wired them in parallel. I could have wired them in series or I could have wired them in series parallel. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to do the math using Watt's law to find out what wiring configuration is best to suit my needs. What wiring configuration do I need to use to get the most potential out of my 400 watt solar array that I'm gonna be installing on my Chinook? If you guys have interest in me teaching you how to do that, please drop it in the comments section down below and I might make a video on that. But it's a very simple thing. You just input some values, you do a little simple math, and then it gives you the differences of wiring in parallel versus wiring it in series versus wiring it in series parallel. So if that's something that interests you, again, drop it in the comment section down below and I'll do a video teaching you how to do that.
I'm not gonna go out and actually mount these yet, so you'll probably see another video of me mounting these panels. And then following that video, you'll probably see another video showing the actual installation, you know, wiring and things like that. So I hope you appreciate this video. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please, again, check the description box down below. I'll put links to where you can find these brackets, links where you can find the VHB tape, and there will also be a link to the Eternabond tape. And why not? I'll throw a link down there for the lap sealant as well. Uh, just in case so with all that being said folks. I know this is getting a little long-winded. Thank you so much for watching I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now